welcome back guys to this video where today what we are going to do is introduce the, the cards from this theme you know these top four cards into our application so what i'm trying to do is create an independent component with this card thing <coughs> where i am able to pass these informations for example you know the count the title the color of the card the icon itself and you know this link and where it you know on click what should happen so these all things we will pass it to this component and it will render itself based on the different parameters which we send as a prop right so this is our current home page uh, ideally we would want those four things on top here now going to our code this is the home page you know the pages uh, home component is being called and you know in here ideally we would like to get the things in place right so the first thing which we want to do is if you go over here so this is kind of divided right i want um, that this page has you know this particular division so what i will do is let's just say in here i'll have dev row okay and in here i will have one card and in here i will have one more and if we save so we have this right so we have separated the content area into two different cards uh, like this which is fine we will later on put whatever content is necessary the next thing is we want these four components so i have in visual studio code also opened up this card component so this is the small box start and uh, this is where kinds of ends right let me see so small box and then this is the column and it ends here so this is the markup which we are looking at so let's go to our folder structure we will have common and then inside card no not card what do we call this let's call this small box maybe so small box slash index.tsx this is my file do I have this shortcut? Yes. So I have this shortcut which creates this component. So I am importing React and component from React. Then I'm creating a class. We'll call this small box. Right. And then I'll paste the markup. I don't need this comment. And all the class, this thing, right? I need to select and we need to make it class name because the keyword class doesn't work inside the render function right okay this is done <clears throat> now i know that some of the markup will create problems um, in the linting so few changes what which i'm making are in ahref i will have this and on click i'll do event event dot prevent default okay so the click will not work for now so this is our basic component we come back to our home this is where we are why don't we do dev row dev call md12 and inside that we will import the card so small box right um now so I'll do three one two three four let's see so you have something in place obviously it's not um exactly how we wanted uh, why this happened so let's look at the markup in here 
so this is row and then call six column six right so this is one this is two three four this is index.html and we are also looking at it. so how did they do that let me quickly again check so this is one box second box okay so let's take this and in here we'll add this class okay we are still in that same situation hmm. I think this is repeating why is this repeating that must be creating the problem so right this div is extra so we will remove that okay just the uh, card component is what I need and so now we have this properly done right now let's look at how the color is coming so this is BG info if you look at the first one and then if you go to the second there will be BG success so which means if I change this to success I get a green the same goes for warning gives us yellow and this gives us uh, danger gives us red so why don't we handle that at first so let's just say uh, there will be certain properties which this component will expect so we create an interface props and that props will be available here what are the attributes which we need let's just say we will need the stats so stats will come as a string okay then we need the label which is this new orders or let's say what are the other ones bounce rates user registration things like that right so a label is there then we have link label which is basically oops sorry link label will be the um, how do you say this you know uh, this more info right if I want something else over here I will add this as add that as link label so that's that's taken care of okay then color class that is a string basically whether it is um, be in a success info whatever it is right and then on click handler this is required because what we are saying is on click of this href right we will uh, do this dot handle click so basically this will be called at that point and what will be the icon again it is a string this icon is basically um, this iron bag okay these ionic icons are being used so if you see this is bag this is stats this is user plus all those things so that is also dynamic <clears throat> okay so we have this now immediately this will start to complain about certain things we will fix that but before we do that why don't we destructure some of the things so this dot props okay so we will pick up things from here we will need the stats the label the link label okay color class on click handler no this i don't need i need icon okay now a few of them are pretty straightforward this 150 becomes uh, stats not states but stats this is my label okay then this icon is fine in here i need to play around with this a bit i will uh, sorry um 
right I'll have this here ion bag and then in here so this ion class is kind of uh, permanent but then I will have icon class added to that okay so what will happen is whatever is coming from this icon it will automatically get added here now link label is basically this right and what else do we have color class right color class let's see again we need to do the same treatment which we did for the icon so over here I'll add this and then dollar color class so this is the component right now is kind of dynamic in nature however in here so the first is stats stats let's just say what do we have here we have 150 right then we have label label let's just say that will be new orders right new orders okay why, why don't we delete this right now this is coming over here after label we have what link label so link label will be let's just say more info then we have color color class that's going to be um bg uh what was that sorry i forgot hold on a bit let's just open it up bg let's say info right so i'll call it bg info then we have icon icon let's just say it will be ion bag okay and the last one is on click handler which for now is let's just say console.log1 okay so basically now my component should render and it does right and this is fine if i make a copy out of this this is quite expected there is nothing uh, new about this however why don't we uh, say this is 53 right so we'll make this 53 percent uh, bounce rate new info continues to be there this is bg success and what is the class in here ion stats bars right so ta -ta 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 -ta. all right let's see what we have okay so we have pretty much everything uh, except for the icon now the icon is not coming because um, this plugin uses this uh, CSS ionic framework thingy so why don't we go to our public index.html public index html and in here after the title tag I'll add this okay I'll close that file I think I need to restart npm run start we do that and let's just see what happens okay oh yeah the icons are already coming so basically this component is almost ready right the only thing which I need to ensure is let's just say right um, so I'm sending this on click handler right what I want to do is I want that when this uh, thing is called right um, when this a tag is clicked I will trigger a function which is handle um, let's say link click 
or rather handle link click yeah handle link click and I pass the event in here this dot handle link click I pass the event over here as well so the first thing that we do in here is event dot prevent hmm. why is it not coming event dot prevent default and then for the sake of an example let's just say i want to send this thing to my on click handler right i can send anything as per my requirement as per my programming so for now i'll just send the data just to ensure that if i come over here this is my handlers right so in here if i get the data and if i console it get over here and click here see we are getting it so basically we can pass the props from inside the component if we have anything in this we can pass it to the parent component and that should work so quickly I will uh, write the marker for the rest of the components. All right, so we have this entire markup over here, and my page is looking like this. So, and everything is handled, kind of. And the only thing now, what I need to do is, you know, this is too much markup in my home page, which I can then again, and I will get hold of this inside uh, home. Right, I have let's say something called top cards. I have a React component. I want to name it top cards. Click pass it on and small box is added in here. Hmm, this is strange. Um, let's just undo. Okay. And now I'll paste it. Yeah, I think it pasted twice. That's why we're getting that strange thing. And if we refresh, now in home, what we do is we just add top cards. So the page continues to be, uh, no, this component is uh, simplified. You know, we have the top cards over here. Then we have this row where we have two columns and then the individual cards, which can again have something inside them to render, right? And uh, in the end, we have this um, you know, reusable card, which we can you know uh, put in any, uh, place in the website and it will just render right so yeah if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel